Hello and welcome to the Hardcore Giveaway and Gamers Club channel. My name is Daniel and this video is how to roach proof a power supply. Now this particular power supply is a power supply for the 1215A model. Uh, 1215B is identical basically. Uh, the 1001A and 1115A uh, have two screws instead of just one like this one and opens up slightly different but it's not real hard to figure it out if you're not at all sure definitely ask uh, I don't recommend anybody actually trying to repair these things as far as components and stuff because uh, this is the main power into the box which makes it the biggest fire hazard of the whole thing anyway we're roach proofing this uh, the owner of the box has a very bad roach problem and that's what blew out their power supply previous and I'll, I'll give you a good close-up look at that after we're done roach proofing this one and putting in some preventive measures to keep the roaches from damaging anything else as well <coughs> excuse me okay so uh, we're going to take a high temperature sealant 704 uh, you, know, or you can get this on eBay I'll put a link to uh, one I don't know how long it'll last uh, in the video description it comes out somewhat runny at first uh, makes it pliable so make sure you get a decent coating on it let it settle up a little bit and then start making sure everything's covered okay so these are all the sections that need to be basically roach proofed and I'll show you exactly why on the other power supply okay some of this stuff that I'm going to put this on will not require uh, me to do so but I'm going to anyway just because roach poop is very corrosive that's the 704 and a little green box from China really cheap it's a high temperature silicone uh, they actually use this in this circuit board already to lock down the large capacitor okay. so you see this stuff gets is pretty runny at first so you might get a little bit messy no worries whatever you do let this set for a good 24 hours before you try to turn it on this stuff is in a liquid state right now later on it'll become like a hard rubber it it's non non electrically conductive but uh, while it's wet like this you'll burn up your power supply I pretty much guarantee it okay so allow it to dry nice and solid before you do it and I'll give you some close-ups of what it looks like what I'm doing here I'll do some zoom ins the video quality gets real bad whenever you zoom in real close so I'll actually grab the camera and get you some real nice close-ups of what I've actually done here so while I'm doing this and you can't really see exactly what I'm doing yet uh, I would like to invite you guys to uh, stop my stop by my active giveaways playlist I give away something every single month. Xboxes, uh, quadcopters, laptops, miscellaneous electronic items. Uh, I get product re product review requests sent to me nowadays <coughs> where I will actually review the product and rather than keep it, I give it away. Now, if I post a product review and I don't give it away it's because I wanted it and I'm allowed to keep 
something from time to time for my efforts. So don't get mad at me if I don't list something for a giveaway. <laughs> but normally I'll give away everything, whether I like it or not. Uh, I'll give away everything that is sent to me for product review. And I got a couple of more that I'm actually haven't got listed yet uh, for my giveaways that I am going to be giving away that are product reviews for from companies that have sent me goods to do a review on and I will be giving them away. Uh, but uh, the whole idea of the giveaways is to give all the kids and individuals that would like game systems, PCs, laptops, quadcopters, drones, airplanes, and other miscellaneous electronics absolutely free. I even pay the shipping uh, because they can't afford them. Uh, it's a nice thing to do if you got a lot of money not a problem please by all means go ahead and enter the drawings all you got to do is pay, post a comment I'm not asking you to go to Twitter I'm not asking you to go to Facebook or anything like that post a comment on the video all I ask is whenever you watch one of my videos allow that first commercial to play all the way out rather than click skip the ad this helps to uh, make the channel revenue and that revenue is what is what I use to buy additional electronics strictly for the giveaways all right see how it's starting to set up a little bit we want to make sure that gets all the way up on there to where the roaches cannot short themselves out between the components uh, crossing walking around in there they'll cross over all the little parts now you don't want to get it too bad and you don't want to get any on the large metal squares them are actually heat sinks to cool the <coughs> voltage regulators okay put some in there just to be on the safe side and I'm going to do some pretty much a little bit here and there all over the place wherever I can see the thing. now we're only going to do the top side the circuit city side <laughs> we're not going to do the micro component side which is the bottom and you'll get to see the bottom of the other one as opposed to this one so, you got a spudger or a popsicle stick. Uh, a spudger works really nice for this. You just squeeze a little bit out, grab it from the top of the tube, and then just kind of spoon it in there. Uh, that'll work. And then let it set up a little while. Now I'm going to set this clean this up and then I'm going to set this down and I'll be back in a little while after this dries and hardens. Okay I'm back. <laughs> now this is not entirely dried but it, it's dried up enough. What you're seeing me do here is apply something called diatomaceous earth. This will kill cockroaches and any other bug that may get in here. Literally, no joke, it will kill them. It is absolutely not toxic in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, with all likelihood, if you're 18 years old, you've probably ate three to four pounds of this stuff in your lifetime because it's actually used in preventing bugs from getting in the grain used for baking bread and pretty much everything else. It's called diatomaceous earth. It's actually fossilized shell that's powderized. Now we can get into how it kills it later or you can 
Google diatomaceous earth. Okay, so I put a good amount underneath the circuit board. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get that circuit board to fall right into place. Now, this is not going to hurt anything in your Xbox whatsoever because this is the, all the air will be going out of the box. So if if I turn it on, then anything that's loose will just blow out the back of the box the moment I turn it on. All the other stuff in here will kill the roaches just by them walking across it. If they get it on their feet, they will ingest it. It will kill them. Uh, it's also a very... Uh, it, it, it also kills them by way of scratching their exoskeleton, which will cause them to dehydrate <coughs> very quickly. I'm going to put a little bit of this powder on the top here. This will make this whole power supply a hostile environment. And any of them that, for whatever reason, manage to walk through, they're not going to short out on the components from the high power. So this will prevent the roaches from making this uh, power supply their breeding ground, which they love so much. And I will show you absolute proof of that here in just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put the top back on, make sure it all clips down. I'm going to put the screw in. I'm going to get rid of the, the real light stuff that's just floating around in there. We'll tap it a little bit, not real hard. And then put the screw in. And that is one roach-proofed power supply. Now again, you can do this with the 1115A as well as the 1001A.